Well, it's time now for our In Focus Health update. Health reporter Lino Mudu joins us now with news on a very important day for everyone. Lino. Hello, Vincent. And this concerns you as well. Today is World Sight Day, an annual day of awareness to focus global attention on blindness and rehabilitation of the visually impaired. Medical experts say there has been an increase in eye problems globally, especially among people over age 50 and those living with diabetes. According to the World Health Organization, more than 275 million people worldwide are visually impaired and 39 million are estimated to be blind. Now joining us from New York to talk more about World Sight Day is Brent Saunders, President of and CEO of Bosch & Lomb. Bosch & Lomb is a leading healthcare company dedicated to protecting and enhancing the gift of sight for millions of people around the world. Mr. Saunders, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Well, tell us about this increase uh, in eye problems about, uh, around the world. What is happening? Well, I think we're seeing a, a couple phenomena uh, happening. One is, uh, as you mentioned uh, in your opening, is uh, age-related uh, cataracts are on the increase, and that is predominantly due to the fact that our society is, is aging. Um, and in fact, half of the, uh, uh, the world's blindness, or a little less than half the world's blindness, is a, is a result of age-related uh, cataracts. The second thing that's happening is the demographics uh, uh, and comorbidities of diseases of uh, diabetes and, and, and the like are also having a major impact on eye health. And unfortunately, uh, people don't tend to uh, go see their eye health professional or practitioner until they've already started to, to experience uh, some loss of vision, uh, which causes it, uh, which makes it much harder to treat uh, after, at, at that point. So do you think that people uh, tend to neglect um, preventive care when it comes to, to the eyes as opposed to other, other areas? That, that tends to be what we see. Um, uh, you know, we believe and, and studies have shown that you know, people really cherish their eyesight. And in fact, there are studies that show that people uh, 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 believe that the, their eyesight is their most precious uh, health condition, particularly after the age of 50, yet the dichotomy uh, that we see is that people don't tend to regularly see an eye health professional to get an eye exam and rather wait till they experience a problem. And in fact, almost 80% of all health, uh, eye health related diseases are preventable if they are detected early. So basically, people need to, to see more of their doctors. What is Bosch and Lom advocating in terms of uh, this uh, issue? Well, I think that's what we're, we're really in sync with what World Sight Day is all about, which is uh, uh, really trying to promote the uh, awareness of eye health um, and encourage uh, uh, people to seek regular checkups uh, uh, from an eye health pr practitioner and also um, to, to support the developing countries where we see almost half the world's blindness um, to, to uh, provide education and training as well as uh, products and um, uh, other uh, 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 programs uh, to help those people uh, most in need um, seek uh, treatment. Uh, a good example is we've partnered with the Lions Club uh, to, to focus on pediatric uh, cataracts. Um, and there are many children born in countries like China and India with pediatric cataracts, and if they're not fixed, uh, they will eventually go blind. And it's something that we know that uh, is easily fixed. Uh, we have the technology and ability to do that. We just need to get the resources out to those countries. Now, what would you say are the most common issues in uh, sub-Saharan Africa? Well, I think a, a lot of it is, again, early detection and, and treatment of very basic eye disease. Um, so, uh, you know, when you look, think of something like cataracts that we're talking about. Um, if, if you if you let cataracts go untreated, regardless of your, your age status, pediatric or elderly, you will go blind uh, eventually. And, and yet it's something that is uh, very easily treated in the developed world. So we need to, to make sure that doctors in, in that part of the world are trained and have the equipment and resources to be able to perform those procedures. Now, if you were to give uh, a couple of um, very specific advice to people uh, how to take care of their eyes, what, what would it be? 
Well, I think first and foremost is, is to, to get a regular checkup. Um, people, you know, I, I use the analogy that people go to the dentist quite regularly. They know they need to go every six months for a cleaning and a quick checkup. Uh, yet we don't see people treat their eyes the same way, and, and the eyes are such a precious gift. And so first and foremost is to, to encourage uh, people to go and seek uh, a regular relationship and a regular checkup with an eye health professional. Okay, thank you, Mr. Saunders. Thank you so much for joining us from New York. And uh, thank you. that was Brett Saunders, city CEO of Bosch and Lamb, uh, Bosch and Lamb, rather, <laughs> joining us from New York, Benson. <laughs> and be sure <clears throat> that information is very personal to me. Thank you very much, sure. Lino. And uh, remember, if you were to join uh, uh, Lino Mudu right here on In Focus every Tuesday and Thursday for a very, very up-to-date uh, information and news on health.